What's going on everybody? Welcome to Tattoo School on YouTube brought to you by After Prison Show. In this video, I am going to be showing you how to tattoo with this ink right here. Higgins Black Magic Pigmented Non-Toxic Ink. We'll also be using this tattoo gun right here made from a combination of my hair clippers I can no longer shave my beard because of this thing. And also an electric toothbrush. The needle on this gun is a combination of a click pin spring and an ink cartridge. Have no idea what I'm talking about? Well then check out my last video where I explained all about how to make this needle right here. So let's get to it. Let's do some tattooing. What are we gonna be tattooing in this video by the way? I wonder. This folks is what we're tattooing. When tattooing, the beginning of your tattoo is the most important. It's pretty much going to dictate how the entire tattoo process goes for you. What, no matter what kind of ink you're using or what kind of tattooing device you're using, the most important thing to do is pay attention in the very beginning to what's going on. How are your materials working? Is your ink taking? Is it not taking? And if it's not taking, you need to figure out why it's not taking. If it's homemade ink, did you break it down enough? You're gonna wanna figure out what's going on from the very beginning because if you're having issues, you need to stop and fix those issues first. So we're gonna take a little ink and we're gonna take our rag and we're just gonna dip that because we're gonna knock off the excess ink. We don't want that flying everywhere while we're tattooing. I'm also gonna adjust this needle a little bit, making sure I've got the least amount of needle hanging out of this gun. We're just taking our time, applying our first line. And you really want to just go slow. Make sure you follow your pattern. And we're going to wipe that away just to see what our ink is doing. Like I said, the beginning of your tattoo is the most important part. And we can see the ink is taking. Now we're not applying a lot of pressure as we're doing this. We're just making sure that we're getting right up underneath the surface of the skin, enough to lay that ink in there, and just moving right along. Now one thing you wanna keep in mind while tattooing is you do not wanna continuously go over the same spot. So, a good rule of thumb is to take your time and make sure that no matter whether you're plucking or using a machine, that you're laying the ink under the skin the best that you can the first time around. You'll notice that we have a few hit or miss spots throughout this, but we're gonna just continue the pattern and we'll get those spots the second time around. So we've gone over our pattern one time completely. We still have some light spots that we need to address. So now we're going to go back and fine tune this pattern. Also every time I'm getting ink, the first thing I'm doing after I get ink is I'm dipping, is I'm dabbing the end of the needle. That's going to help remove most of the excess ink before you actually get to laying ink in your skin. It's going to also help you be able to see where you're going because if you just dip the ink and then go straight to the tattoo, you're definitely gonna be blinded by a blob of ink. And that completes the outline right there. I think now I'm gonna add a little shading on this. And basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna run most of the ink out of the gun and I'm just gonna lightly hit inside where I've already been hitting and you're going to see that's going to already start to add a little bit of shade to this now I continue to do this this is sort of gray washing or blood shading or there's a lot of little when it comes to shading I know quite a few different shading methods, but basically this is a gray wash type of blood shade where you're just usually, where you're just mixing 
the last of the ink that's left in the barrel with the blood and that's actually diluting the ink and causing that shade it's kind of crazy if you think about it but it works now when there's no more ink left in the barrel and you want to continue the shading you're gonna to have to get more ink but you're gonna to have to run all of that ink out of the barrel so we're gonna get more ink and we're gonna run it all out and we'll go back to shading and we're just going around in circles staying inside of our lines we're coloring inside of our lines folks and this blood shading adds a lot of texture to your work I mean basically we just had this little stick figure outline on here and you can already see the difference this shading is adding to it now when it comes to this shading you're not going to want to hit this a lot I don't recommend hitting this any more than twice once you've hit it twice leave it alone if you keep going into it, you run the chance of digging yourself up, scarring yourself. When you've gone too much into a tattoo, it's going to take a lot longer to heal because it's going to be scarred. And you definitely run a higher risk of infection. So definitely only hit this a little bit and then get the hell out of Dodge. Again, more ink. Running the ink out of the gun. And then moving on. And once you first start this blood shading technique after you've gotten ink onto your, once you've gotten ink and then tried to run it out of the barrel, definitely move fast wherever you're at. And you don't want to be leaving big black marks in an area where you're just trying to shade. Look at that. See that already? See that shading? And this is kind of an important thing. I probably should have mentioned this before I started this shading. But what I did was I adjusted the needle as well. So where you would have about a nickel's width of needle hanging out, even less than that while actually running your lines and your tattoo work, when it comes to shading, I leave way less needle than that hanging out. I'm barely just hanging out the end of the gun. And that way I can actually bog down on the skin without running the risk of going too deep. And then once you've moved fast for a little while and spread out whatever excess ink may still be in the barrel, then you can come back and address that little area you're in and really fine tune that shading in there. As I'm moving, you're watching, I'm just spinning in circles, going back and forth, really watching to not hit the same spot too much. Again, hitting the same spot too much will definitely cause you to chew the skin up and you just don't want to do that.
And that's it, folks. We're done. Shaded and outlined the like symbol from YouTube. And that's it. Gloves still on. Got to get ready to go wash this stuff off. We're going to wash this tattoo with soap and water. We could put antibacterial ointment on it. Keep your fresh tattoos clean. And if they do run the risk of getting irritated by like clothing or anything like that being rubbed up against, yeah, then you probably do want to wrap those tattoos up. This is on my leg. I probably will wrap this tattoo up. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was the beginning of Tattoo School on YouTube brought to you by After Prison Show. Please leave a like. I mean, for God's sakes, I literally just tattooed that on my leg. Please leave a like on this video and also a comment. Let me know what you think. I hope this was insightful for you and I hope I was able to answer a few questions in this video. Until next time, enjoy life, the free world, never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. Peace!